Jennifer, Julie, and Gary are here tonight to talk about the upcoming Excalibur and Excelsior Awards. Thank you all so much for being oh, yeah. here. Thank you. Jennifer, yes. you helped us kind of uh, announce this a yes. little while ago. So anyone who might have missed that or doesn't know what we're talking about, right. why don't you take exactly. that one and explain it for us. Thanks for having <laughs> us back to talk again about these awards, which are the Excalibur and Excelsior Awards. They were started by the Rockford Register Star in the 1970s, okay. actually. They recognize excellence in community service, both of an individual and a uh, an organization so they've been recognizing amazing people in our regions for almost 40 years yeah 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 so the nomination is open right now okay. and there's one more week to apply it closes October 2nd the nomination form is very brief so a week is plenty of okay. time <laughs> for people to think about who is their community champion who's that person that they want to uplift their story because they're doing such amazing things in our region yeah so um, I encourage everyone to think about that and submit a nomination. And you brought some examples. I did! <laughs> I Winners, actually. Yeah. That's right, right. And today I'm, I'm here with Julie and Gary, who um, are the most recent Excalibur and Excelsior Award recipients. Gary as an individual and Julie as a representative of the Rockford Symphony Orchestra. Well, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I hear you guys um, accepted your award probably from home via Zoom. So <laughs> maybe I'm the first person in person to congratulate. Yeah, thank you. I hope, hope not. More. I hope not either. Right. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about your experience of being part of these awards. Julie, you can start. Sure. So on behalf of the Rockford Symphony, we received the Excelsior Award, which was really exciting. It was um, right at the end of our the tenure of our 30-year music director. So mm -hmm. it was a very, and coming out of COVID, we had just started performing again. Um, but I think it really helped just celebrate getting through the pandemic, yeah. being still being relevant during that time, but going back to the core of what we do. And it was a wonderful way to kind of celebrate the transition of the new era for the Rockford Symphony Orchestra. And it was great publicity. It was just wonderful to, to be recognized for serving our community. Absolutely. All right, how about you? Well, I think it was an honor to, <laughs> definitely be an honor to uh, be nominated. And, you know, and I think, um, you know, seeing all the past uh, award winners and and I can remember being at the first one. Wow. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, aspire to, you know, be a part of that. Sure. Um, but uh, you, you just never, you know, think about that, really. <laughs> and uh, so as the years went along, it's just like people were saying, hey, you should get nominated. And <laughs> so uh, here we are. And, did you uh, say, well, you uh, should nominate me. <laughs> 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 Somebody finally did, huh? Right? So four different um, counties are involved in this, so tell us a little bit about that. Sure, yes. So um, we're looking for uh, nominees from Winnebago, Boone, Ogle, and Stevenson County. Okay. Um, it really is a regional award, recognizing the service area of the Community Foundation, but also the Register Star and, um, you know, just really what our region is about. So sure. they're, uh, the winners of the Excalibur and Excelsior can be from any of those counties. Okay. And this year we're announcing four new awards. Oh, fun. The co uh, Community Champion Awards, one from each of those counties. So we really hope that folks um, maybe who think, oh, it's always going to be Winnebago, always going to be Rockford. It's not. There's going to be a winner from every county. Cool. Um, so please think about that organization or that person that is doing amazing things and submit the nomination. Yeah, I mean, there's no harm in nominating somebody, right? Absolutely not. No, <laughs> no, no. Seems no. like a smart idea to nominate somebody. Definitely. And then hopefully that person will end up being the winner. That's right. Well, and like Julie said, a lot of times the organizations, it's, it's an honor for the organization. It's something that, you know, they, when they talk about the awards that they've received, they'll sure. put, include this on that list of things. So um, if you are on a board or a volunteer for an organization sure. that you think could use some more recognition, this is a good opportunity. Perfect. So October 2nd is the deadline. Yep. And when are the awards? The awards are this December, okay. December 14th. So more information about that to come, but right now we're focusing on the nominations. All right, get those <laughs> nominations in. Thank you all so yeah. much for joining me. Uh, you can get the nominations in at cfnil.org. Uh, or that link to the page. The link to the website. So ExcaliburExcelsior.com. Okay, perfect. Yep. Coming up next, we're off to US Cellular on East State Street. We're gonna find out why you want to put your phone away next time you sit down for dinner. And then we're talking with live and with Kelly and Mark Marks Consuelos. We'll be right back. <laughs>